Assalamualaikum. Tajuk video ni ialah topik 6.1 planning a speech. Topik 6.1 planning a speech ni ada dalam modul muka surat 17 dengan muka surat 18. Muka surat 17 tajuk dia 6.1 planning a speech dan muka surat 18 6.2 attention getter. So dalam video ni saya bercerita berkenaan dengan planning a speech dan attention getter. Selepas video yang ni, eh, video 6.1 ni, saya ada buat lagi dua video tambahan. Video ni saya namakan topik 6.2 preparing a presentation. Eh bukan video sekarang ni. Eh sekarang ni 6.1 kan. Kita tengok video selepas ni. So video selepas ni tak ada dalam modul tapi saya buat tambahan. Bukan satu video tambahan, dua video tambahan. So video tambahan 6.2 preparing a presentation. Sebab apa? Sebab penting. Dalam tu ada macam mana nak prepare PowerPoint presentation. Satu lagi do and don'ts in making PowerPoint slides. Apa yang boleh buat, apa yang tak boleh buat dalam PowerPoint slide. Okey dapat eh? Okey sekarang tengoklah video 6.1 planning a speech. Topic 6 planning a speech. This is a short one. If you take out your module, just go to page 17. Buka modul sekarang, muka surat 17. Let's look at this together. Speech planning worksheet. Bila kita nak buat speech, kita kena ada perancangan. You have to have a plan eh, to create your speech. In order for you to create your first speech, nak buat presentation yang pertama kan? PB yang pertama. Uh, you want to talk about the safety in the workshop nak bercakap tentang keselamatan di bengkel. I want you to follow. Follow this worksheet and plan your speech. Let's look at the first one, objective. What is the reason for you to give the speech? You want to inform and educate, right? You are not going to entertain or trying to persuade or to toast or to demonstrate. You are just going to inform about the, the danger in the workshop and to educate uh, your friends about the dangers in the workshop and uh, maybe you want to demonstrate a bit and you are going to show me some pictures with some labels and uh, you are going to talk about just three main points. Audience. Obviously, the audience uh, for your presentation should be your friends. Uh, you're going to present to me. I will akan buat satu video ni, video speech kepada saya, betul. Eh, tapi audience, awak cakap dengan pensyarah dan kawan-kawan. Eh, you talk to your lecturer and fellow friends. Subject. The third component of the speech specific should state what it is the speaker is talking about. Eh, this could be basketball, homework, the best sports team, breeds of dogs, etc. So, subject. Eh, subject. Apa subject kita? Keselamatan di bengkel three safety tips in the workshop dan semua tajuk-tajuk yang berkaitan dengan itulah eh how to be safe in the workshop attention getter eh something that will get the audience's attention awak mulakan dengan awak punya speech nanti dengan soalan boleh eh dengan satu pernyataan boleh ada kan saya dah ajar sebelum ni relevance or purpose eh This is where the speaker explains the importance of the topic selected. This should state a reason why the speaker decided to speak on their topic. Relevance or purpose. Tujuan. Kenapa awak nak cakap tentang topik ni? So, ah, ini dah bahagian speech ni kan? Introduction or preview. Ah, you list three main points. Bagi tahu dekat saya, tiga point utama. Ah, bila mula je, eh, perkenalkan diri, ah, bagi tahu saya. Kenapa awak nak buat ni? dan tiga poin utama. Lepas tu kita elaborate lah. Kita kembangkan. Elaborate, main point, elaborate. Contoh, poin yang kedua, poin yang ketiga. Kembangkan, panjangkan sikit, bagi contoh. Review main point, restate the three main points just discussed. Bila dekat hujung speech tu nanti, review lah. Review. Restate the three main points just discussed. This should only be only one sentence simbolkan kat bawah ni kan ensure the audience remembers your speech you can also use facts quotes 
lyrics, poetry, video, or music in this section. So, belajar awak nampak eh, speech planning worksheet, buku surat 17 dalam modul. Yang ni tak payah tanda apa-apa. Eh, kita tengok, kita ada checklist ni lah. Eh, apa tujuan, objektif, cakap dengan siapa, subjek, apa tu, attention getter ni. Eh, macam ni kita nak tarik minat orang supaya dengar apa kaitan topik kita ni. Eh, lepas tu kita mulalah dengan speech kita tu. Introduction, main points, tiga, conclusion. Okey lah, kita sambung dengan satu powerpoint. Dalam topik enam ni, kita akan belajar attention getters. Macam mana nak tarik perhatian kawan-kawan untuk mendengar speech kita. Saya faham eh? ada di antara awak yang cakap, Cikgu, saya tak tahu macam mana nak present. Cikgu, bila saya cakap, orang tak nak dengar. Dalam subjek English Communication ni, kita akan belajar macam mana bila kita bercakap, orang akan dengar. Attention getters, 11 ways to say, listen, look at me. What's an attention getter? The device a speaker uses at the beginning of a speech to capture an audience's interest and make them interested in the speech's topic. Attention getter ni is a device, satu alat, satu cara yang mana awak boleh tarik perhatian pendengar. Typically, there are four things to consider in choosing a specific attention getting device appropriateness or relevance to audience kesesuaian kita nak tarik perhatian sesuai ke tidak will your audience understand your attention getter and respond positively to it tengok ni contoh if your audience is 60 years old men and above will they understand K-pop? definitely not purpose of speech are you there to inform or entertain or motivate your attention getter should suit your purpose Don't tell a story about dying in Africa when you want your audience to laugh unless it's a funny story. Topic. Your attention getting device should have a relevant connection to your speech. Kalau nak cakap pasal education, jangan bagi contoh keselamatan jalan raya. If your topic is on education, don't use an attention getter on road safety. Lastly, occasion. Different occasions will require different tones or particular styles or manners of speaking. Tempat. Dekat mana awak cakap ni? Eh, giving a speech at a wedding using a happy or fun attention getter because it's a happy occasion. When you are giving a speech at a party, happy. When you are giving a speech in front of your class, you should be serious. Next. 11 common types of attention getters. Okay, pelajar. Bila awak nak mula speech nanti, when you want to start your speech, there are 11 types of attention getters that you can use. Ada 11 cara nak tarik perhatian orang. So, daripada 11 tu, guna satu yang paling sesuai, yang awak tahu, yang awak boleh buat. Current reference. Refer to current events. Currently, Malaysians are bombarded with the news of increase in COVID-19 cases in Sabah, Pulau Pinang, Selangor and actually throughout the whole states. Naturally, citizens are worried about their safety. Kita gunakan isu semasa. Bila kita sebut pasal isu semasa, perhatian tertumpu pada kita, kan? Next, today's topic. Reference to the subject. Inform the audience about the topic, for example. Ini nak cerita pasal jenayah. A crime is defined as an illegal activity that is punishable by the law of a country. A criminal is a person who commits a crime. How does a country treat criminals? Ini reference to the subject. Berkaitan dengan subjek ini cara. Awak tak cakap tentang jenayah. Awak cakap tentang keselamatan di bengkel. So, gunalah cara macam mana nak tarik perhatian orang. Reference to the subject. Next. Reference to the audience. Use your knowledge about the audience and their common interests to get them interested in your topic. 
tengok contoh as concerned parents our priority is to ensure our children's safety as the covid-19 situation escalates we need to ask ourselves the most important question how do we protect our children from the virus nampak reference to the audience bila topik kita tu ada kaitan dengan orang yang nak mendengar kita tarik perhatian dengan apa yang berkaitan dengan pendengar kita what's next quotation uh, use relevant quotations from famous people that are suitable for your topic yang ni kita nak quote kata-kata orang yang terkenal so if you have a suitable quotation for your presentation use it if not don't there are 11 ways history historical reference nampak ni eh? refer to historical events so kalau kita nak cakap pasal covid kita boleh ceritalah pasal sejarah virus-virus yang dulu eh? you want to talk about covid-19 you tell your audience regarding previous viruses you want to talk about the safety in your workshop so historical reference you can quote statistic and you can tell all right there are a few cases that have happened in KV Stapa regarding safety one there was a student who had uh, an accident on his toe for example tapi kena ingat historical reference kena tepat jangan cipta-cipta anecdotes tell a short story to attract the audience for example thoughts of dying raced to the mind of tengku amelia tengku perang after she contracted covid-19 and ended up in the icu in malaysia's sungai buloh hospital selangor ini dia cerita petikan nah, tapi kalau dalam kita punya presentation ni tak adalah petikan mana-mana kan kita guna cara lain shocking statements use shocking statistic or strange facts to attract the attention of your audience did you know that you can lose your fingers if you don't pay close attention to the safety guidelines in the workshop macam tu shocking statements ha, tengok contoh dalam ni lah eh smoking makes the risk of a heart attack 200% to 400% greater than uh, of non smokers benda-benda macam ni shocking statements kan eh? orang terkejut dengar question ask a respond question which requires the audience to respond or a rhetoric question which does not require the audience to respond for example what would you risk for 10 million ringgit soalan kita tanya dekat orang nak jawab ke tak jawab ke tak kisah tapi bila kita tanya soalan are you willing to lose your toes tanya soalan yang berkaitan tanya soalan yang menduga akal next share personal stories use your personal stories that are relevant to the topic to attract the audience ingat tak video yang sebelum ni yang saya buat saya dapatkan personal stories daripada siapa Steve Jobs kan menarik kan so most of the samples here are regarding coronavirus because this is the latest issue so you can use personal stories awak tak kena corona ni ambil cerita daripada orang lain bila awak ceritakan benda ni, personal stories ni when you tell other people it will get their attention humor, buat lawak ini bahaya ni eh kalau jadi, jadi, tak jadi kan, nah, susah so, if you know how to crack jokes you can start your speech with this one reference to the event refer directly to the speaking event as an attention getter. If you are invited to speak on a special occasion, you can start your speech by paying tribute to the occasion. Contoh dalam ni, eh, dia dijemput nak celebrate uh, 30th anniversary of SMK Sri Cempaka. Ingat tak video Steve Jobs yang dalam video sebelum ni? Dia cerita benda yang berkaitan. So, you can do the same thing also. So that's it. 11 common types of attention getters. That's all folks. It's your turn to speak. Nah, sekarang ni giliran awak pula nak bercakap. Jadi tak susah tara mana. Ingat eh. Awak dah rancang, ini 
lesson kali ni lesson 6 ni nak bagi tahu cara macam mana nak dapatkan perhatian daripada orang awak cuba buat eh, cuba buat presentation 5 minit yang nak bagi pada saya tu kalau tak dapat tarik perhatian pun tak apalah dan jawab dah mencuba okey so have a nice day goodbye dah habis tengok kan video 6.1 planning a speech alright jangan lupa selepas ni ada lagi dua video kan okey selepas ni awak tengok video topik 6.2 preparing a presentation tak ada dalam modul tapi saya buat sebab saya nak ajar awak macam mana nak buat powerpoint presentation lepas tu apa yang boleh apa yang tak boleh dalam powerpoint presentation tersebut okey selepas video ini okey klik video selepas ni bye bye